What's going on guys? It's Sam Norris here from Grand Union Finance um, with another property finance video. Although this one is a little bit more to do with property strategy. Um, so if you wanna know why I think you should have at least two property companies stick around because I'm gonna go through the reasons why, both from a strategy point of view and from a finance point of view um, in this video. <laughs> Property is about patience. So as I said, um, the whole purpose of this particular video is to um, talk to you about why I think you should have more than one property company, namely two. Um, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button and the notification button if you're watching this on, on YouTube. Um, don't forget, you can also go and follow me on Instagram at the Sam Norris. Um, but let's get into it. Let's talk about property companies. Now, one of the issues that I have as a, uh, a broker is a lot of my clients or new clients will come Come to me and say, Sam, I've got a pot of cash and I want to follow the buy, refurbish, refinance model. I want to build a property company, an investment company that has lots of um, uh, properties in it that generates me monthly income. And I've got a um, and I've got a, a certain amount of money that I need to uh, that I've got to put in it. I've got working capital to start with. Um, sorry, I was just interrupted by somebody coming through the door just then. Um, but I've got a certain amount of money that I can put together, my, my starting, my working capital. Now, that's all well and good. But a lot of people say to me, is that, an, is that enough money to get started? And often my, my answer to that is, um, well, it very much depends on what, you're, what you want to be doing in terms of deal two, three and four. If you've got enough cash that you can do one deal and that's going to be sufficient, um, then that's great. But what I want you to actually look at is if you follow this buy, refur refurbish, refinance model, you're not probably not gonna be able to get or recycle all of your money back out of this particular um, deal. So have, if you've got a certain amount to start with and you leave a certain amount in, is what remains, is the net amount that you're gonna release back gonna be enough for you to do deal two? And if it is, if you take the same amount out again, is that gonna be enough to do deal three? Often the answer to that is no. Um, and this is where a lot of investors get stumped in that they can um, get started, they can do deal one, they can do deal two, but when they get to deal three, four and five, that's when their money really, really shrinks. Um, and this is why I talk to a lot of my clients about hybrid strategy, um, whereby they won't just have an investment company, which is where they buy properties that they're gonna hold as long-term investments, but they also have a trading company, a company where they flip properties, they buy and they sell. Um, and just, you know, I don't wanna go into a, a stupid amount of detail on all the different types of flip strategies, but effectively, you know, for however reason, you know, buying a property at a certain amount and being able to sell it for a higher amount, whether you add value to it by doing something to it or whether you can just be really clever in terms of flipping using auctions and things like that. But what happens then is, when you're following the buy, refurbish, refinance model and you're putting money in and you're only recycling part of that back out, your trading company can fill the gap. Basically, it kind of acts as a bit of a cycle in that you can buy properties to trade with, you're building up um, working capital, you're building up funds, and then what you're doing is those funds can go into your investment company to bolster your working capital to, um, to to build your portfolio. Now, you can flip properties using bridging finance. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me recently about you know um, using mortgages to buy properties to then to then sell on. You can't do that if you're going to be you know selling properties in a very relatively, relatively short period of time. You're either going to incur early repayment charges or and or, because the same thing's gonna happen, is you're gonna to start to show um, a pretty um, unsavory sort of um, conduct on your credit report, whereby you're taking out a mortgage and repaying it very, very quickly. Mortgage lenders won't like to see that kind of conduct, so it could inhibit your uh, ability to get mortgages later on. So use bridging finance to flip properties if you don't have enough to, to buy cash. You're then taking the profits and you're putting it into your buy, refurbish, refinance investment business, where 
you are again using bridging to purchase these properties but instead of selling them you're refinancing them after you've completed the work that can be before six months but we'll use six months as the general rule and then recycle as much of that cash as possible now the little secret to this is that you will actually reach a point, and I've seen this with so many of my clients, and actually I can remember a few conversations that I've had with clients where they've been talking to me and, and the penny has kind of suddenly dropped, that they've reached this tipping point whereby the two companies are suddenly just working so well together. Um, obviously, as I said, this trading company is bolstering and, and keeping the investment company going, but there will become a point where if you don't rely on taking profits from this investment business early doors, um, and I talk about that on another video that I did called Don't Give Up Your Day Job, um, you can you start will start to be generating income as well from the investment company. So you then this investment company then gets fueled by two sources of income: the investment income from itself and lump sum income from or lump sum uh, cash from the investment company so suddenly you get to a point where you're just you've just got a lot of cash floating around your investment company to continue buying more and more property and not just property there's various other assets and commodities and, and all sorts of things that you can invest in um to to make to make yourself cash but um you know you will get to a point where you want to use that investment company to maybe give yourself an income but I would certainly stress that until you reach a certain point whereby you know those two companies are working in, in tandem with one another that you don't take an income from these. But in summary, if you just have one uh, property company where you follow the buy, refurbish, refinance rule, you will come a point where you don't have enough working capital to recycle and move on to the next deal. That might happen on deal two, that might happen on deal three, it might happen on deal five. But if you also have a trading company, a company that um, flips properties in very, you know, there's various different ways in which you can do that. And perhaps I'll, I'll talk about that on another video. Let me know in the comments if you think that would be helpful um, to uh, basically create lump sums of investment cash that you can put into your investment company to continually replenish um, the lost cash um, that you are that's happening per per deal. So basically you have two property companies working side by side to build your overall proposition a lot lot quicker and as I said you can utilize bridging finance to grow these these uh, companies very very quickly. So I really really hope that this uh, video has been really really helpful and, and made you understand the concept of having a hybrid property strategy um, and how that's that's funded. Um, let me know in the comments if this has been helpful. Please, please, please share it around if you think that there are other investors out there that are quite early on in their um, in their in their journey, and maybe this is going to be something that will be really, really helpful for them to get their mindset right into into creating a longer term property strategy. Um, just click on the little arrow button, and you'll be able to share this uh, to all of your friends and family. So. Um, any questions, please hit me up on Instagram at the Sam Norris. Um, but uh, apart from that, I hope this has been really, really helpful. I've been Sam Norris and I'm going to get on with my day now. So have an awesome one and speak to you soon. Cheers.